Hello. <laughs> Welcome to Melissa's Musings, the second one of the day. Wah, wah, wah. Super exciting. <laughs> no, not usual. As you guys know who watch the Musings, it's not often that I do two in one day, but what must be happening? But wisdom must be exploding from my head right now, so I just need to share it. <laughs> Paul is back. Thanks for watching, Paul, for round two of today. You're probably like, what? Melissa's back on live? I am. I am back. Let me know if you're watching. I love you guys. Thanks for tuning back in. Well, I was just reading, if I'm going to be completely honest, in the bathroom. That's where some of my best thinking happens. And I'm not, <laughs> not to be TMI. I'm just saying, like, you know, we get the opportunity to read in the bathroom. We get to have the opportunity to, like, sh shower in the bathroom and have, therefore, have shower thoughts. I listen to books on tape in the bathroom, in the shower. So, like, the bathroom is primo thinking space for me. Anyways, was just in there. And I'm reading still, uh, You Are a Badass. And something, another moment for me happened when I was reading this um, chapter on gratitude. And she's basically talking about how well-mannered she was growing up and she was, uh, you know, like taught how to answer the phone at her house, which this was so, so hit home to me because we also <laughs> poop thoughts. Yes, Paul, if we're going to be, <laughs> if we're going to be honest here on Melissa's Musings, yes, we read books and we all do go number two. So I was just reading in the bathroom and, um, where was I going with that? Oh, she was talking about her manners and basically how as a kid, like growing up, when they answered the phone, it would be like, <laughs> they would answer it very formal. For example, the way that we answered it at my house, Melissa speaking, or sometimes we would say like, Grota's household, Melissa speaking, very polite, right? And she also, you know, like saying thank you and please was a way of life. It's still a way of life. It's so habitual for me. And there was a line in here that I absolutely love that I was like, wow, that's massive because so many of us don't recognize that gratitude is truly a state of being. It's how we show up. It's how we navigate through every single day and how we basically show up and appreciate. And so I was reading, um, basically she says, you cut yourself off from the supply of awesomeness when you are not in a state of gratitude. And having gratitude goes way beyond just having good manners, however. Manners are a form of custom. Gratitude is a state of being. Anyone can whip out their P's and Q's whether they're feeling it or not, but truly being in a state of gratitude is about having an awareness of and a deep appreciation for the many miracles in your life. Wow. That's amazing. How cool is that paragraph? And how cool is the sentence? So freaking simple. Manners are a form of custom and gratitude is a state of being. I absolutely love that. When somebody puts a plate of food in front of your face, how easy to just say thank you. It's, it's what we're ingrained to do, right? Our parents trained us well. Thank you. I'll take another glass of water, please. <laughs> but are we sitting there and we say thank you and we sit there and we look at our food and are we like, wow, how grateful am I right now to be eating this food? How appreciative am I to be in this beautiful environment able to enjoy this plate of food? How awesome is it that this waitress is going to now get me fresh water when so much of the world doesn't have water? I am so blessed. That, my friends, is a status of gratitude and a way of being. And I encourage you, if you're showing up in a status of custom, like customary and of custom, and you're just saying thank you and please, and it's just habitual, habitual and it basically is bullshit because there's no appreciation and meaning behind it. Of course, you may appreciate that the person brought you your food, but how grateful are you? And yesterday, I was actually faced with, you know, every time I have a breakdown or something happens, yesterday we were late for something by like 10 minutes and we missed it. And I was so bummed. But I was able to shift my entire internal conversation. Instead of being pissed and upset and, you know, annoyed and all the emotions that were naturally coming to me, I was like, huh, what's the lesson to be learned here? Where can Melissa improve moving forward? And you know what? The lesson was clear as day, writing on the wall. Leaders are early, on time is late. <laughs> Melissa, if you'd left enough time for yourself, you would have had ample time to get there on time. You get to shift, and next time you get to learn to leave ample time because leaders are early and on time is late. I was so grateful for the experience of being 10 minutes late to miss something so important to me because it's not going to happen again. I will never make that same mistake. So Thanksgiving 
And that status, what did she say? Manners or a form of custom and gratitude is a state of being. And I just encourage you guys to keep that in mind as you go about every single day, as every thought answers enters your mind. Hi guys, hi Stacy. So good to see you. As every thought enters your mind, be asking yourself, am I grateful for this moment or am I just spewing out thanks? Like, you know, because this is, and this, and I'm gonna, we'll talk about this on another musing because this is a whole nother topic. If you're out there watching, let me know. There's like a bunch of people joining in. Hi guys, <laughs> it's me. Um, if this is another thing that we're gonna talk about on another musing because it's something that I think about all the time. Um, when you ask somebody how they're doing, good. I'm doing great. Thanks. How are you doing? <laughs> we'll get to talk about that. It's habitual and you don't want your thank yous to be the same way. There's Mr. Boots. Where is he? Oh, where'd he go? Oh, he's over here. Hi, booties. Okay, we're going to sign off now. Bye, you guys. And Paul, totally feel you. If you're in the Navy, that's right. Leaders are early. On time is late. I live by that shit. And I was late yesterday. Not going to make the same mistake. I love you guys. We'll talk soon. Bye.